Hello all, this evening I wanted to talk to you about my work notebook. This is what I currently use, which is a Filofax Flex with rings in. Um, before I talk to you about this though, and I will talk to you about that, uh, and what I'm planning to move to, I wanted to just tell you kind of the different things that I've used in the past. So, uh, in my previous role I used notebooks like this. Um, these are just kind of standard, almost A5 size um, notebooks with a um, um, elastic, a pocket at the back and a ribbon to hold your place. Um, I can't kind of show you the detail but they're lined um, and I, as you can see I used to fold the corner over to mark when I'd kind of done with a page and they're just kind of lined and I would use them in date order and um, I started to use these little sticky notes to try and colour code where there was information about a particular project in there. Um, after a while though I kind of found that that wasn't really working for me and so I um, moved to using um, this Filofax. Um, now, in a previous role where I was working with lots of different clients, I used a Filofax to keep my notes and I had a different section for each client and that worked really well. Um, it didn't work so well when um, projects weren't so neatly defined because I sometimes would worry about which section to write my notes in when I was in a meeting. Um, but I, I moved back into one of these and but the thing I didn't really like about this and, and generally normal filofaxes that you'll buy is the space here there's just so much excess space with the, the cover uh, that you're not using um, and um, when you close it and you and carry it around with you compared to a notebook of this size it just takes up so much space it feels so bulky and I just don't think this amount of extra space is really necessary and I looked and looked and looked for different ring bound um, folders that I could could store note paper in uh, and, and move my notes around and I just didn't find anything I really liked. So I went from this to um, an arc system. Um, now this wasn't actually the arc system I used because this has kind of got, a, got huge rings on it. Um, so I used a smaller one. Um, I bought the kind of covers that you buy um, and I actually ended up cutting the covers down for exactly the same reason. And I really liked the arc system for a while. Um, you could move your notes around quite easily but I found that if you weren't using the kind of arc paper that's quite thick, um, using kind of thin paper like this, um, the paper would kind of come out and wasn't, you know, it didn't work so well for me. So I have now uh, used the arc system for archiving um, information. See if there's anything, well, this doesn't have anything on it. So this is just um, something that I've archived recently. So you can see the pages are really flimsy, which is fine for archiving, but when you're kind of carrying this around at work and kind of opening and closing uh, in meetings and whatever, some of my pages just kind of started to fall out. So I now use this to archive my notes. So I have this one, and I have this one, which is kind of broken up into sections with these notes. So I, I, I think the arc um, system is a good investment for kind of archiving your notes. So I still use those and I archive my Filofax notes in those. So from that what I moved to was this Filofax Flex which is what I'm using at the moment. Um, so the Flex doesn't come with rings but I bought these rings and I put them in. I've got kind of the little Flex um, note um, pen holders and I like the kind of configuration of pockets here. Usually I have this as a dashboard um, and these are kind of my my stickies that I, I use um, and I have it separated up but I won't worry about showing you my setup for now because I'm planning to show you what I'm planning to move to um, 
and I'll sort out showing you my setup once I've transferred this all across. So this is great. The problem really for me for work is that these rings, which I think are 25 millimetres, are just not big enough for what I want. Or are they 22? I'll put it in the comments below. But it's, I just don't have enough space in here. I did buy some bigger rings, but as you can see, this is already kind of sticking out, um, which doesn't bother to me too much because kind of with my pens there, it is fine. But once you put some slightly bigger rings in, this just really protrudes out and I don't like that. So I have one of these that I use for my personal use and it works fine. I'm not too bothered about this. It, I mean, it does protrude a little bit, but it really doesn't bother me. So. If you don't have tons of stuff to carry around this works great um, I am going to do a video on how you fit rings to a flex it's not that complicated you just buy the rings and screw them in but I, I'm going to do a video on it um, because I've had a couple of requests for that but this is kind of what I'm using for now but because I want bigger rings this was not working for me well it won't work for me if I put bigger rings in it so this arrived today I've cut it open but I haven't looked inside so I thought I would do a bit of an unboxing and show you um, what I'm planning to move to um, so let's open this up you can see it comes with this really cute um, foxy fix logo um, here's the packaging I'll take the invoice out so this is it all wrapped up um, as you can see it's all still sealed so I haven't opened it yet so this is what I've moved to this is a foxy fix in wonderlust licorice I've had it stitched in pink it's got a pink elastic and it has two secretarial pockets, a pen loop and no elastics in the middle because I am intending to fit some rings into it. So these are the rings that I've purchased so I'm going to fit them there um, and then when it's closed um, hopefully it will be just wide enough for me to fit my A5 paper in but no wider um, it's a bit floppier than I thought it was going to be but we shall see what it's like when it's got the paper in it um, but if I kind of put those in for now you can see it's kind of marginally wider than, than this one but hopefully yeah look not quite as wide as this Filofax and I think it's probably got bigger rings so anyway I will fit the rings in this and then come back and show you both what this looks like I'll transfer all my um, garments across and show you the setup okay so here we go this is what it looks like full up it's a bit of a brick um, the one thing I didn't realize I suppose was kind of how thick these would be um, with the double width of the leather which probably sounds like a really dumb thing to say but I guess I hadn't quite realized they'd be that thick but it is the perfect width so I am really happy um, this is obviously not as full as it could get because we've now got the extra space for the rings so with the bigger rings that's good so I'm going to kind of go through a bit of the setup with you so I'll take the elastic off um, I've popped a few things some checklists um, in my front pocket I just these are well supposed to be my weekly checklist um, I just kind of punch them and put them in the rings it's just things to go through for the week to kind of 
check that you're up to date and you, all your to-dos are kind of in your to-do list and the like. These flags um, are just stuck here. I use them when I'm in a different section of my notebook and I'm in a meeting and there's something I need to kind of act on. I'll put a sticky note on that page so at the end of the day I remember to turn there, transfer the actions from that section of the notebook and put them on my um, task list which I actually uh, I use the task list in um, Outlook. So normally I've got sticky notes in here with like my phone numbers because I never remember them, my payroll number and my conference details but obviously I've taken those out. Um, here on this dashboard I have my morning routine, um, my evening routine and a list of my six main projects. Um, I actually manage um, a team of about um, 10 people so a lot of my time is taken up with um, overseeing them and their projects but I try to have five but I have got six at the moment. Um, five key projects that are mine that I am focusing time and energy on um, so I have them listed here. They're numbered I use the same numbering in my filing system on the computer and I use um, these projects at the back of this book for filing some of my notes. I've hole punched one of the Filofax Flex pen um, loops so that I've got another pen here. I've got a Filofax um, yearly planner which you can see I haven't filled in. I've um, written a little planner here. Um, we have some kind of rotating meetings that happen every month which I have to bid to have agenda items on so this is just my um, little notes of what I need to take to what meeting what month. But then got a whole section of reference materials which I have at the front of my notebook, it's stuff that I, I look at kind of all the time. Um, so that's those. I then have a little section, I can see my dividers are just made out of paper folded in half. I have another, a section called people agendas so this is generally one page per person um, and on there I just list the agenda of things I want to talk to people about you can see I've got their names up in the corner there um, so that's kind of my agenda so when I'm having a one-to-one -one with one of my team or with my boss I just kind of pull the agenda out and go through the things and tick them off. I then have a section called notes slash daily log. Um, this um, I used to just kind of use normal note pages but now I have moved to see if I can find a blank one. I've kind of created this double page spread. So on the left this is a daily planner from Sage Grayson. Um, I bought her life edited yearly planner and this is one of the printables from that and then on the right hand side is just squared paper from DIY Fish. Um, I use a today tab to note my to my where I'm my place so I literally just put my schedule here my key things I want to do that day the to do's things I want to kind of add and delete um, in terms of habits and routines at work I tend to write at the top what my purpose for the day is because I feel that that kind of helps me stay focused and then I just take notes for the day. Usually that's notes from meetings that aren't about a particular business unit or aren't about a particular project, so just general notes in meetings and then any uh, kind of actions or to-dos that come up from those. So that's kind of each day and I fill this in the night before uh, and the notes then during the day. I have made um, just like a little um, my own divider uh, and that just tells me where I'm up to with reviewing my notes. So the next section is projects. Um, I have six key projects so one is about developing a grading structure so that's this first tab and I use the life mapping process from DIY Fish to mark off um, to indicate which 
project this page relates to. My next project is about implementing an expenses system that's nearly done so I've only just got one page in there about that. I have a information systems and payroll project going on, I have a reward design project going on, we're looking at living wage in the UK at the moment and then a pensions project. So they're my kind of key projects that are mine to kind of oversee although as I said my team are obviously working on a lot of other things but I just I don't kind of have sections for each of those. I did have, but I ended up with about 20 different sections and it was just, or more, and it was impossible to kind of navigate through. So I've just decided general notes about stuff my team's working on just goes on my daily page. And then my projects, um, I file in here. We've then got, we've got four business units and then I have a section for each of those at the back. Um, sorry I have to keep covering stuff up because it's all kind of business sensitive um, I've decided to use this at the back which I was just using to kind of protect my back pages decided to use this to put my little post-it notes and things in and then this is just a little kind of wallet that I punched that has got spare paper in and that is it uh, and then this is the pen loop obviously that goes with the planner so hopefully you found that useful um i will link to foxy fix and sage grayson and diy fish in the um com in the uh, description box below um other than that i hope you have a good evening bye <laughs>